This list isn't all doom and gloom, but we can't sugarcoat it either. Unable to feed, this bear will not survive. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts, the series where we reveal, you guessed it, five random facts about a fascinating topic. To avoid wasting energy, they work as a group. Today we're counting down five facts you probably didn't realize about endangered animals. The Jordan's Babbler was last seen in July 1941 in Myanmar's Bago region. Number five. One in six species could be extinct by the end of this century. I'm really into doing something maybe for Africa. Okay. Is that still cool or? Saving some kind of an extinct animal? What's yeah. going extinct right now? Numerous studies project that climate change, overexploitation, and deforestation will lead to more and more species extinctions. In the United States, only about 1% of the species ever protected under the Endangered Species Act have recovered and been delisted. Though 90% of the species are recovering at the rate specified by their federal recovery plan. Globally, experts say that species are dying out between 1,000 and 10,000 times faster than they would without human interference. Make presents out of the extinct animal. And that's not going to really work then, because no, no, the, my... you can't take from the extinct animal. The World Wildlife Federation says that we can all help by choosing sustainably harvested wood and seafood, and by not buying quite so many ivory chess sets. Forget it! I'll just cut back on the condor egg omelets. Mmm, a couple of those would be tasty right now. Number four. Sometimes we'd rather not save species. We wiped out the entire species! What have I done? What have I done? Calm down, Paul. There's two left. Humans have a complicated relationship with animals. We're amazed by some parts of nature when it fits our purposes, and annoyed with it when it doesn't. Conservation efforts are often undermined by ordinary people who ignore official warnings and do things like set up bird feeders for rewilded birds. They're not going to be able to stay in the house. If you put them outside, then owls and cats and stuff will get them and they'll die. Okay, well, uh, yeah. For instance, many years of effort were put into reintroducing wolves into Yellowstone National Park in the U.S., and the project was celebrated as a great success. But the many ranchers who live around the park now have to worry about wolves preying on their cattle. This scenario is at the heart of one of the controversies surrounding the reintroduction of wolves to Yellowstone. While elk hunters don't like the extra competition, it's bad enough they have to contend with bears. The gunnick baskets I got till they're coming out of my ears, boo! The thrill is gone. It's too easy since Mr. Ranger has left. No competition! Number three. Pigeons, deer, and geese were once rare. A female deer. Today, these are three of the most common wild animals you'll see in North America, but they were all hunted down to dangerously low populations within the last 200 years. Shooting pigeons used to be a popular pastime. Buckskins were once as common as jeans are today, bringing deer populations near collapse. And Canada geese were once thought to have been hunted to extinction. Pretty surprising. Equally surprising is that many animals that we consider somewhat commonplace today, either in the wild or as pets, like chinchillas and ferrets, are actually endangered. What are you doing? Teaching. Is that a, is that a student? Technically it's a ferret. Number two. Extinct species are sometimes rediscovered. Turns out Jordan's babbler, the bird everyone thought was extinct, in fact, isn't extinct. In 2015, a bird that was thought to have been extinct since 1941, Jordan's babbler, was rediscovered in Myanmar. In 2013, a frog in Israel popped up for the first time in 60 years. In 2014, I misplaced my sunglasses for eight months. I am gonna get to the truth. <laughs> An international study published in 2011 concluded that in the last 122 years, at least 351 species that were thought to have been wiped out have been rediscovered. But let's not count all our dodo eggs before they've hatched. Protect the dodo way of life! Survival! Separate the dodo from the beast! Given the widespread trend of habitat lost, most of these species are still highly threatened. I got a strap for my sunglasses though, so they're safe. Number one, de-extinction is happening. 
If you have two species, one extinct, one living, you can get the genetic material of the extinct one and compare that to the living one. Scientists are very close to being able to bring back extinct animals. The prospect raises many practical and philosophical questions, though. Passenger pigeons needed gigantic populations to survive, but will we clone a million of them? Who's going to mother the baby passenger pigeon? Is there even enough habitat left for them? Or for the woolly mammoth? Will we undercut conservation if we lead people to believe that extinction is only temporary? And, most importantly, when they inevitably clone dinosaurs and create some kind of a dinosaur zoo, what will they call this Mesozoic Era Park? I call it Billy and the Clonosaurus. Oh, you have got to be kidding, sir. What do you think of these facts? What? What are you thinking? Which forgotten animal would you nominate for de-extinction? And no wonder you're extinct. For more overexploited top tens and genetically cloned top fives, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs> <laughs>